All right, Eric Raditz from Florida Weekly is joining us as he does every Thursday. Eric, how are you? Today? I'm well. How are you? Getting ready for Christmas, hopefully. Yes. Now we're Gotta just prepare. talking about. Can't believe it's already December. I can't believe it. <laughs> Uh, well, one thing we're talking about today, 30 years of change. I mean, a lot of people say Southwest Florida has changed just a lot in the last five years. So you guys are talking about the decades. Yes, yeah, so this could be a rhetorical question, or you could answer it, but what were you doing 30 years ago? In 1991. Mm. <laughs> well, I think Under we were both 30. just ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You guys are young. I was in New York, <laughs> but I wasn't in Florida yet. But at some point, uh, I, I migrated to Florida in 99. And uh, what was happening at the time, President Bush was ordering a ceasefire and claiming victory in a Gulf War. The Soviet Union was officially ending with Boris Yeltsin leading as president of an independent Russia. Magic Johnson said he had HIV positive for the first time. And Florida was looking very different in a few ways. This week, we take a look at 30 years of change here in the Sunshine State. A couple of obvious things. It was certainly more affordable to buy a home here in 1991. <laughs> uh, and the streets were less crowded. Just what was lost, gained, and remains the same over the last three decades is uh, something that our writer Roger Williams takes on 30 years later. It's always interesting when you put it in perspective of 30 years ago, here were the headlines. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to wrap your mind around sometimes. Totally. So your next subject here. Don't be a Grinch. I feel like you hear that a lot. So what are you focusing <laughs> on here? Well, you've heard of the great, it's kind of the great resignation, which is going on right now. And so we're looking at ways to keep our employees happy. And the idea is don't be a Grinch. Give them something. What can you give them? Well, you could give them some paid leave. Uh, you could give them some meaningful gifts or maybe just some some praise. Uh, there's ways to keep your good employees around uh, this holiday season. Don't be a Grinch is one tip that we offer right on the cover there. And that kind of branches off of last week's edition when you guys were talking about how to avoid the Sunday scaries by being a good mm -hmm. manager. So there's lots of good tips for employers in yeah, Florida Weekly. <laughs> uh, one thing that sounds pretty cool is uh, this stick work sculpture that's going on here. Yes, and so if you've not seen sculptures put together with a lot of sticks before, uh, you're yeah. probably not alone. It was new to me, but there's a specific artist who is actually named Patrick Dartry. He's on display at the Naples Botanical Garden. You can see him there. It's kind of interactive sculpture from sticks. You kind of see it on our cover there. Uh, this wow. week we showed just what dates and times as well as how Patrick got into this very cool kind of thing in the first place. Where does he get all the sticks? <laughs> I think he goes to people's backyards and picks them up and puts them in bags. I don't know. Oh, I was like, does he really collect all of them? He's got to have somewhere. He's got to have the go-to stick guy. Is there a stick warehouse somewhere? I don't know, but dogs would probably love if there was. Yes, there was. Just get a bunch of dogs and say, go, go Yeah, nuts. maybe don't bring your dog to that art exhibit. That could be bad. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but I think you're right. I'm going with what you said. Okay. Yeah. Just pull one and everything else falls apart. Yeah. <laughs> hey, in your final section, things to do. Want to get out for a fun weekend here. So if you're not sure what to do, uh, pick a Florida Weekly. We always have a full calendar and top picks. It is the greatest weather that you may see anywhere in the world here in Southwest Florida, and you have some great art acts coming in. Uh, we have Jurassic Quest in town. Uh, Toby Keith is in town. Florida Rep's West Side Story is going on. George Thorogood, Ben Allen, and the tree lighting at Sydney Burnley's Art Center Christmas on 5th. Holiday nights, where to see Santa, art openings, fresh markets, and more. Uh, all this week, pick us up online and on stands at, at floridaweekly.com. And here at NBC2, you guys do a fantastic job. It's always fun to come in and chat with you. Always hey. good to have you. And you can do all of those activities without freezing this weekend, which is a plus. <laughs> it's going to be great. Yeah, Get looking out, forward to fun. it. Thanks so much, Eric. We'll see you next week. Thank you.